Oh, what's up, sci fi nerds? I'm your host, Dr. McKay, and welcome back to another explainer video. Today's video, we're going to be discussing the zero point module, often abbreviated as ZPM or. We need the ZPM to power the gate. What? ZPM. He's, uh, he's Canadian. The ZPM is a power source created by the ancients and is capable of supplying tremendous amounts of energy for various things. Developed by the ancients several million years ago, while they were in the Milky Way galaxy, the ZPM was used to power many small outposts like the ones on the planet Taunas and Earth's Antarctic outpost that SG-1 discovered in the season 7 finale, Lost City. But the ancients did things really, really big, and so the main use of the ZPMs was to power the massive city ship of Atlantis. Atlantis being the crown jewel of the ancients, it required three zero point modules to function at 100% capacity, allowing the entire city to fly and to give it an almost indestructible shield. The ZPM also provides power to the city's drone weapon systems. And with three ZPMs, the city of Atlantis was very formidable, surviving 10,000 years at the bottom of an ocean. But like most energy sources, the ZPM doesn't last forever. So, how does the ZPM work? Well, the ZPM is a crystal glowing object that can be slotted into a receptacle designed to harness its power. Once slotted into a receptacle, the red circle on the top flat side will light up and indicate that the ZPM is providing power. The energy of a ZPM is produced by harnessing zero point energy from an artificially created pocket of subspace time enclosed enclosed within the zpm the energy harnessed by the zpm is almost infinite if the module is not powering anything at all however if the zpm is powering something for a long period of time like atlantis the zpm will continue to produce power until it reaches maximum entropy at which point the artificial pocket of subspace will collapse leaving behind a useless shell that no longer glows ZPMs can also be depleted quickly if used under high power output, like using Atlantis' shields for long durations against incoming damage, as the high power output required to maintain the shields quickly drains the module's energy. So far in the lore of the show, only two races have created ZPMs, one being the Ancients and the other races being the replicators created by the Ancients, the Assurance. As the Assurance have emulated their creators in technology in, in every aspect and have created many ZPMs that power their city. It is not known if the Ori ever created this, a ZPM, but it is likely that they create another power source comparable or better even than the ZPM. Zero point modules are extremely rare in the present time outside of the Assurian homeworld before its destruction, with many already being depleted or not at full power. The first ZPM ever found by the Towery or Earth is by Jack O'Neill on the planet Taenas in the Milky Way galaxy. This ZPM was used to power the ancient drone weapons platform in Antarctica to defend against Anubis' fleet and to then power the Earth Stargate to Dar Atlantis for the first time. That of which depleted the remaining energy from it and left it unusable. The next ZPM discovered by Earth in the Milky Way galaxy was found in Egypt, having once belonged to the Gold Ra. This ZPM was used to dial the Earth Stargate to Atlantis again to send reinforcements to aid the Atlantis expedition in defending against the Wraith attack. It was then loaded onto the Daedalus, Earth's new battleship, to be then transported to Atlantis, allowing them to activate their city shields. However, with the ZPM powering the Daedalus, it allowed the Daedalus to travel to Atlantis from Earth in just four days, a trip that would normally take 20 days or around three weeks to complete. So the energy from the ZPM increased the Daedalus' power output, allowing this to happen. Many more ZPMs are found throughout the series from various locations, but the main ones used by the Atlantis expedition ultimately came from the Assurians after they briefly took over Atlantis, and from Todd the Wraith, who stole some from the Assurians during the battle over their planet. It is currently unknown by the Tauri how to create ZPMs, as the ancient database on Atlantis is vast and the expedition only deciphering a small percent of it. But I can imagine the process being extremely difficult and resource intensive, possibly requiring an entire facility to produce one, but that's just my speculation. 
I hope you enjoyed this explainer on ZPMs, and if you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more, and leave a comment about your thoughts on ZPMs. I have been your host, Dr. McKay, and thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.